Hey there, everyone. Thanks for joining again. And got a little something new for today. And that is this pair of Color 4 hole cut loafers or slippers from Zeb Shoes. So we are going to work on this right loafer. Basically, I've already gone through and cleaned the uh, left shoe. Now we're going to do the right one and ultimately finish with this final project. So to start, we're going to just take a quick look through and see what the you know initial condition is. And I'll show another picture here of what the final product will look like. But let's go ahead and get started. So the few tools we'll be using today are the uh, Brick H Ebony Stick, we'll touch on why, the Horsehair and Pig Bristle Brushes, and Pure Polish Dark Brown Paste. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of use a clean t-shirt, dab of water, and just wipe off the surface so that we get a very clean and base light clean base layer excuse me to actually work with so as we finish cleaning off the surface here we'll move into the next steps of actually kind of building a little of that surface finish back up with some of the paste but first let's just take a quick look at what we have now simply from just a clean t-shirt and some water. So honestly, all I'm doing here is using a very light coat, very light layer, um, thin layer of brown paste to go over the entire upper, focus on the toe and the heel. And this is really to build that higher sheen but also just a top protective layer so it's not a lot of paste at all it's really just the heat and the friction and the nutrients and the paste that are going to do the that are going to produce the result that I'm looking for here All right, so I'm just gonna finish buffing. And it looks like we're about about done. I'm just gonna let this sit for a second. And if we compare it to where we're at with the pair that I've already done, or the shoe from the pair that I've already done, I feel like we're, we're making good progress with this one. Um, a little a little more buffing, not much, not much more paste or product really needed. It's just the, some water some buffing, brushing, and really it's going to start melting the, uh, the solvent and soft waxes that are that have been built up here to even out the, the finish that we've been kind of working on all along. So um, at this point, we're going to kind of start in with the ebony stick. Now this is an optional part, but I'm going to use it here on the creases. On the the toe a little as well just for the uh, the scuffs and scratches and you can see you can see the shape here like very similar to a sleeking bone or a deer bone i just find it be, it's more effective due to kind of the shape and the like the density of the wood Now, a, a few quick points with the ebony stick and deer bone or sleeking bone. You'll you'll notice some of these leave spots here, but as you see me brushing, those spots or streaks quickly get removed, and not anything more than just uh, kind of a residue from from the product or from the actual tool itself.
So I am just going to kind of finish up brushing here and then we'll take a, a quick look at how it started and where it's at now and finish up with the, the kind of the final buffing here. So we are kind of wrapping up the uh, final steps here. I'm just going to use the same t-shirt, just a clean, clean section of it. Very little paste, really just enough to add a little bit of product to the, to the cloth and just kind of buff over the entire shoe here. Now I will add a very small amount of water here, but more so just to help break up and, and even out some of the, the solvents that are on top of the shell, but not, not any significant amount. And we are really about done. Take a quick look here and I'm gonna finish with the horsehair brush. So there you have it. Here's a, a few shots that I took after the fact, obviously. But I think it, it turned out pretty well. Um, again, the, the process is pretty straightforward. But let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully we'll kind of work on some more, more examples like this. Thanks for, thanks for watching. And... Uh, Please uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up, I guess. Subscribe and turn on those alerts. Thanks.